I'm Evelyn and this is my master study sketchbook. Let's sketch a complicated portrait. This one here by Rubens caught my eye. The perspective and expression look pretty challenging. I'm trying to do more practice sketches this year, specifically of old masters. Though, as you can see, there's a lot of game art and my cat and The Last of Us fan art in here too. On this page here, I tried sketching Calypso by Henry Lehman. The face had a similar perspective, with her gazing longingly off into the distance, and I just couldn't do it. Maybe it's the smaller format, maybe it was the overall anatomy of the figure already being off, or that I was sitting in a cafe and not really focusing. But practice makes perfect, so I'm trying my hand at this Venus by Rubens today at a larger size, so I can hopefully capture the expression better. His paintings are so fascinating to me. The faces are expressive, the brushwork looks both detailed and rough and spontaneous at the same time. And I wanted to give this a try, though not in color, just with a single colored pencil. This colored pencil by Derwent is my favorite for drawing portraits. The hue just makes everything look a little bit better than it actually is, and I truly recommend it for some looser sketching if you're into that. It's strange to look back at myself two or three years ago when master studies really weren't on my mind. I got started with painting and trying to learn more realistic art approaches during the pandemic, and now? Studies and sketches like these are something I really enjoy doing. The angle of the face gave me some trouble, and I used guidelines to compare key points and angles. For example, the height of the nose being the same as the earlobe, the cheeks going down vertically until the level of the mouth corner. Looking at a reference and step by step building up a sketch like this helps with unique portrait angles, and also more complex drawings like a full figure or landscape. I've felt a bit directionless starting 2020. I'd been working as a freelance illustrator in Korea, mostly creating cute art for stationary products and music album covers and storyboards for videos of all kinds as well as selling my own prints online and locally at markets and shops here on Jeju Island and teaching watercolor painting classes. And then the pandemic hit and the base I'd built for myself suddenly eroded. I had to close my online shop because international shipping shut down. All the art markets and little events stopped and I was also sick a lot. While I still loved drawing cute art, I felt this strong need to learn something new and to change directions. And that's what I did. I dove into a completely new art style that needed a different set of skills. And while some of the skills I already had helped, there was so much to learn. It was a scary change, but also one that felt very fulfilling, and I love what I'm doing now, which is mostly book covers and tabletop illustrations. So that's what this channel will be about. Someone who's worked as a freelance artist for a long time, nearly a decade now, but is also still a beginner in a lot of areas. Maybe you've also felt stuck at some point in your creative process, or wanted to explore new areas and learn new techniques. Maybe, like me, you also felt like a little bit of a failure at some point, or like you've fallen behind. I'm gonna be honest here, and while I'm overall really excited and positive about my art now, 
There are always doubts and insecurities that come with big changes. I'll be practicing a lot here, sketching, like this portrait, and painting. I actually think this turned out alright. Much better than the Calypso on the page before this, and I credit that little success to the portrait being larger, me being more focused, and properly measuring the proportions as I went along. The facial expression isn't quite how I wanted it though, and I went a bit too dark around the eyes. So I might give this same portrait another try as soon as my Mungyo oil pastels arrive. I've been wanting to try those out for ages, and the soft colors of Ruben's paintings look like a perfect fit for a first proper pastel portrait. I'd love to see you in that video if you'd like to practice and experiment along with me. As this is a new art channel, I'd appreciate if you hang around and would love to hear your thoughts about your own art journey. Has it all gone according to plan? Is there something specific you want to learn? Or an art material you want to try next? For me, it's the mentioned oil pastels, so that, or a sketchbook tour of my way too many sketchbooks, will probably be the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video, whatever it may be.